Now I'll start by drawing this desert background. You'll notice I've gotten really fast at drawing. Yeah, you know, I guess it's just practice, what can I say? Anyway, here's Moses. He's carrying a very impressive golden staff, the Golden Staff of Staff Aureus. Notice his robes are violet. We did this because Staff Aureus is gram-positive. And gram-positives take up crystal violet stain in their thick cell wall and hold on to it even after the rinse and the addition of red saffronin. So they appear violet under the microscope. We'll tend to use a lot of violets in the gram-positive videos, and likewise we'll use reds in the gram-negative videos. Let's keep talking about how exactly we can identify Staph aureus in the lab. So far we've gone over that they're gram-positive cocci, but so are strep. So how are you going to tell them apart besides their shape? The first test you'll use is a catalase test. Catalase converts hydrogen peroxide to water and is present in all staphylococci, but not strep. Since staph is catalase positive, we'll add this cat, standing for catalase. You'll notice you won't see a cat in the strep videos or any catalase negative videos. We've placed him right here, front and center, and we've even made him look cool and Egyptian looking so that you don't forget about him. So if it's gram positive and catalase positive, we're pretty certain we're dealing with the staph. Now how do we know it's staph aureus versus a different kind of staph? Well first, staph aureus has that nice golden color when plated, but alternatively you can run a coagulant.